This is just a quick heads up video about Gary Johnson materials that you can use if you want. I'm very pro this guy now. I didn't know who he was back in April. This is Gary right here, you know, putting on his serious face. Okay, here are other pictures of him. This is his one of his channels. It's um, Governor Gary Johnson. See, there you go. In YouTube. This guy on the right here I've known of for a long time, Bill Weld. He used to be the governor of Massachusetts. And I knew him better than I knew him. So when these two guys hooked up, and it turns out they've been friends for 20 years, which I think is one of the most important issues in this election. Friendly, happy, they know each other well, guys. Um, when they hooked up together, I thought, oh, I got to know this guy over here. Because I know this one. And I, I'm, I'm a real fan of this guy. Okay, He's really smart. He knows the Greek and Latin and Hebrew and stuff like that. He's a, a geek like me. So, of course, I'm going to like him. Um, he's got a really long and successful history in government. Um, but what distinguishes him for this election is that he was a Republican governor in Massachusetts, which is, you know, rabid Democrat state. And they loved him. Of course, you, to, to hear this guy talk for more than 20 minutes, you fall in love with him anyhow. At least I did. Um, but to hear Gary, I thought, oh, I didn't know. But now I'm, I'm, I'm all in, okay? The reason, this is a libertarian ticket. The number one reason to vote for these people, as I've said in my prior videos, is they've got the only tax idea that will actually help America. There is a way to get to 5 to 8% growth. There is a way to have an explosion of jobs. There is a way to get the effect of a 30% raise without you getting even a higher paycheck. And it's all because the way the government collects the tax, the way it collects the tax, is wrong. If it collected the tax a different way that this guy is proposing, a federal sales tax rather than in income tax, if you just change the way of it, the price is so much cheaper per person, everybody's going to have more money in his pocket. The government still has the same amount of money. So if you're worried about government programs being cut, they wouldn't have to be. But a lot of government programs have a lot of garbage in them. These two guys, as governors, really know how to find the waste. And they're not interested in killing services for the sake of killing services the way the GOP is. They're interested in making government efficient. And that is the number one drawback in the Democratic Party. You know, we like the Democrats because they're not busy trying to make you a Christian or a pro-lifer. And, and that's good about them. But they are horrendously inefficient at spending money. They are horrendously stupid with foreign policy. So that's why people over the years have gone to the GOP. Because they've been better at foreign policy and were and better at spending or saving money. Okay, well, these two guys have the, have the best of the Democrats. They're not trying to rule your bedroom, okay? And they have the best of the Republicans, except they're better than Republicans because they want to change the way the tax works. They think outside the box about how to actually do things efficiently, like you or I would do, okay? They're very down-home, very basic guys. You know, they're not like Hillary Clinton where she has her own plane and her own 50,000 employees and all this other fault or all. That's why your government costs so much. Is instead of a $5 hammer, you get a $1,000 hammer because they decide they have to hire this task force and this commission and this group and that group and then they talk endlessly and then 90 cents out of your tax dollars spent and only 10 cents gets spent on the thing that needs to buy that would actually do you good. These guys know how to cut across all that. That's why I want them. Okay? So, if you want to investigate that, because you should decide it between God and you, not because brain out says so, then you can go here to... How do I get that thing to work now? Yeah, there you go. Governor Gary Johnson. 
okay, YouTube. And then he's got another channel, and that th these are more personal videos. They're short, they're cute. You hear, you see his personality come out, and he talks a little about. He's a real health nut, okay. He's always he's always doing health things, so you get to see him do that. These are the short videos, and then the longer videos are over here, with the horrible title. It's Gary Johnson's speeches and events. So you can just type that in in YouTube. Just type Gary Johnson's speeches and events channel. I'll put links to them in the video description. Okay? And these are the long ones. And it's the long ones where you get his policy positions. And it's really important to say this. There is a lot of misinformation on this guy. I don't know why the Democrats and Republicans feel so threatened. But there's a great deal of information on this guy that is misrepresented in the media, like Aleppo. Okay? Oh, Gary doesn't know anything about foreign policy because he didn't know what Aleppo was. Honey, he was talking about Aleppo in 2012. And if we had listened to him talk then, we wouldn't have the Aleppo crisis we got today. Because his prescription for solving it then is exactly would have forestalled the problem of the refugees now. We wouldn't have any Syrian refugees now if we listened to him in 2012. So the pundits are lying, or they're not doing their homework, take your pick. And of course the Democrats and Republicans are lying about him. So instead of you relying on me, because how do you know I'm not lying to you, listen to him. See, this is his speech for an hour. Actually, this is Bill Weld. Bill Weld is really good to listen to. Also, I mean, really good. And then here's Gary, 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 sometimes with Bill, sometimes not. But see, they're long. And the sound is usually pretty good. Okay? But they're long. And you can hear them talk for yourself at your leisure, at your convenience, instead of waiting for some TV program or debate. This is much better way to know a candidate, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not even going to watch the debates because of this. Gary should be in the debates because that's the only way he's going to get the name recognition. But, frankly, debates aren't a good way to find out about a candidate. Listen to them. See them talk. You can hear their soul in their voice. And you will know. God will tell you, you know, who you should vote for that way. Use 1 John 1 9 when you listen. God will make it clear because it's between you and God who you should vote for. And just because I know who I'm voting for doesn't mean you should vote for the same guy. God might have a different will for your vote. Okay, so this is in case, just so that you did your due diligence, Gary Johnson's speeches and events, because you have to always look at everybody. you got to look at Hillary, you got to look at Trump, and you got to look at Gary. you got to look maybe at Jill Stein and some of the others. But Gary's on the ballot in all 50 states. He can actually win. No, they want you to think it's only Republicans or Democrats. That's not true. This guy's on the ballot in all 50 states. I mean, as a listed candidate. All right? Not some goofball. And the party name is Libertarian. Okay? It's all about small government and keeping your hands off the bedroom. Off your pocketbook and off the bedroom. Okay. But besides that, besides these two channels... If you want, you can come see me in Twitter. That's my Twitter handle, at BrainAudi. That's the name I'm using. That's a picture I drew of the federal tax system, because taxes is what I do for a living. Um, and if you come there, you can go to my profile. And in my profile, right up here, it's called a pinned tweet. And all of the Gary Johnson videos that I find as I find them, this will be the latest listing, is here. Okay? Oh, so this, see, this, this happened in Las Vegas. So these are all live or, you know, pre-recorded videos. Sometimes they're links to articles. It's really very helpful just to have it all in one place. Okay? And then here, let me see if I can do this right. Here's my creator studio. And then in my video manager, in my own channel, 
I have playlists. It takes forever to connect. See this? Presidents and politics? Okay. It's a presidents and politics playlist. And it's got a lot of videos in here, okay? The first section of the videos is just basic basics. And then it goes through some of the candidates in sort of in chronological order when I listen to the videos. Stuff about Jeb, stuff about Trump, stuff about Cruz. And you keep on going down and down. And basically in the last half or so of the videos, most of them are on Gary. Because basically when I hear about a video on Gary I haven't seen yet, I just plug it into the playlist. So you could also go there if you want in order to find them. Um, there's one other place which might even be better for some people. And that is right here. This is my Twitter.com Brain Audi lists. All right. These are lists of many Twitter people that I congregate by category. Okay. Like this is like websites or Twitter people making fun of Christianity because Bible satirizes Christianity a lot. That's what we're doing in Matthew 25 is showing how Christ satirizes the badness of church. And they have other categories like a lot of people who are never Trump are in that list. And the one I want you to see, and I'll have to clear it so I can do it again, is Libertarian. Okay? This is a list of people who are libertarians. Now the value of that is if you're on Twitter, you can just click on this and ask any of them a question. So you're not relying on me. And you're doing your own due diligence. You're not relying on me. Like this guy is, is one of the guys who writes for Reason Magazine. They're not, you know, they're not low people. Okay? These are all people who are really pretty savvy and are probably already in the media business. Okay, Libertarian Republic is a magazine. This guy's like, you know, one of the head of the Libertarian National Committee. So these, these people have knowledge. Okay. And th th they use this for personal tweets and stuff. But, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty highbrow. Okay. So you can get, you can get information from them that's, that's pretty, uh, what do you want to call it, authoritative. And, just so that you know, Gary himself and Bill Weld himself are here. See, that's Bill running for the, pres the vice president. That, Like Gary likes to say, it's a twofer. You're getting two for one. They don't like to distinguish themselves by higher or lower, even though technically they would be. Um, they, they're, they're like best friends, okay? And they're both avid chess players, for example. See, there's another account for Bill Weld. Then here's Gary Johnson's main account. So what ends up happening here in this list is that when Gary Gary tweets something, then his name is here. He doesn't tweet often because he's you know on the road a lot. Same for Bill Welt. You know they also have a Facebook page, but I can't get on their Facebook page because I'm not a member of Facebook. But you might be. Um, where is the last Gary thing? Uh, Gary, 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 there we go, see? Sometimes he, he tweets. He doesn't very often say anything in tweets, okay, because he's busy. But this is like a live shot of his, his show at Austin today, okay? And then there are other people like Cinnamon305, really good, really good person to talk to. Look at, see, whenever you see somebody have a sense of humor, see, professional problem solver and professional silly putty, that's a smart person. Anybody who makes fun of himself tends to be a smart person and relaxed. Like Gary made fun of himself in some interview this week with um, MSNBC where he talked like this all the time to talk about how... He could talk like this, and just because he's another person in the debate, he would get votes. He was made, he was doing that joke with his tongue, you know, biting his tongue while he talked. 
And the poor interviewer didn't understand how cute that was. Yeah, see, because he's got a sense of humor. Cinnamon 305 has a sense of humor. Okay? And as you can see, that's Norm MacDonald. And so, I mean, you, you get stuff like this. You get people who tweet stuff from elsewhere, and they're all pretty knowledgeable folks, okay? So, what I'm trying to say is that your next alternative, this is live in the moment, is that you can see the tweets from these people. Now, you're going to say to me, well, if I tweet Gary, will he tweet back? Probably not, okay? But he'll get it, and he'll read it. You know, he's got people now that have to handle his tweets because, see, look, the guy's got, the guy's got, see, 328,000 followers. So he might be having 328,000 tweets in a day. So he can't necessarily follow all that. All right. But somebody will get back to you if you say it's really important. Or you can talk to these other people like Dr. Mom is a real good person to talk to. Nick Gillespie is a real good p person to talk to. Um, yeah, Cinnamon 305 is one of my favorites. This guy, he always answers your tweets. All right. So you can get answers right away here to your questions. And then they'll give you links or information, stuff like that. What I'm trying to say here is that since Gary Johnson's being blocked by the Democrats and the Republicans, it's going to be hard to find out information on him unless you go to his channel and watch his speeches and events, and then you'll really know who he is, much better than any kind of TV program could tell you. And then these are, this is my presence in politics, which stores some of those videos. And then for the short videos of Gary alone, it's just Governor Gary Johnson. See? Governor Gary Johnson all run together. And these are all short videos if all you have is a second or two. Okay? These commercials are really great. Whoever does their commercials is really excellent. All right? And then, like I said, if you want live answers within a reasonable period of time, then come to my libertarian list. Okay, see, it's twitter.com, brain out lists, libertarian. And then ask your questions. And, of course, I'm here, too. All right? And like I said, again, you can go to my profile. And in my twin a pin tweet... There's a whole thread of the better stuff I found in Twitter that's about Gary. I just always store it here so that you can look at him. See, look at that smile. A killer smile. All right? Now, one final thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to close. All right? Oops. Yeah, here we go. This guy. There's going to be a movie that's coming out on October 3rd. That's in a few days. It's being produced by the guy that's the CEO of Overstock.com. The name of the movie is going to be Rigged 2016. It's going to open in theaters in New York and Los Angeles. And I don't know how long, how long that will run, but once it's run in the theaters, it will be free on YouTube probably on Amazon. I haven't gotten confirmation on Amazon yet. And you will be able to watch an hour-long movie on what I just said to you about the Democrats and the Republicans blocking this guy. Okay? They're blocking him. They don't want you to see them. They don't want you to know him. See, he's got a serious face there, but he's so cute when he smiles. All right? They don't want you to know about these guys. You know why? Because they're the only ones with the same set of policies and they actually are happy. Don't you want a happy president for a, for a change? Aren't you tired of all the negativity? These guys are happy. And once you watch their little ads, which they do just the two of them. It takes them five minutes. It's like a YouTube video the way they do it. It's like, oh, wow, I really have another choice. Well, no wonder the Republicans and the Democrats don't want it, us to know about them. And here's the biggest thing about that. In all the polls that you see on MSNBC, CBS, blah, 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 they don't count. 
the places where Gary has the most votes. They only count the sections of the populace that are highest for Clinton and Trump. Okay, well, the problem with that is half of America is neither Republican nor Democrat by registration. And among the people who are neither Republican nor Democrat, they call themselves independents or unaffiliated, Gary has the most votes. It's still not a majority, but you don't need a majority to win this election. The person who's going to win this election will win it on like 35, 36%. Donald Trump is banking on that. Okay? He's not going to get an absolute majority. He'll be he'll be lucky if he gets 30%. He'll probably poll at 20. He'll probably win votes at 20, 25%. Hillary can win this on 35, 36%. But so can Gary. Because he's running already at that level amongst independents and get this, amongst millennial voters. They exclude the millennial voters from like the CNN polls and other polls. They do not reflect the percentage of millennials who are voting for him. And the millennial percentage voting for him, and you have to dig to find this information, is around 30%. Okay, that's 69 million guys. The, the millennial population is like 69 million. Okay, when you add in independence of any age and you add in the millennials, that's more than 35% potential. It's already at 30. And the polls won't disclose it so they can say, oh, Gary, you're not even at 15%, so you're not in the debates. Yeah, how can he be in the debates when the people voting for him are excluded? That's what the movie Rigged 2016 is going to cover. It comes out on October 3rd. It's going to hopefully come out on YouTube at least the following week if not before at the same time I'm not sure they said they said they're gonna play it in theaters first I don't know if that means like for the weekend or for a whole week or what but the guy you want to look for let me bring that over here you know my presidents and politics playlist right the guy who's doing that is Patrick Byrne Okay, this guy here, see, he's, this is, this is the movie I was telling you about, Rigged 2016, okay, and this was an interview where he was, you know, talked to about this movie, and see, he's, he's here on YouTube also, you can also reach him in Twitter, his, his handle is at Overstock CEO. I haven't had him reply to my email, my tweets yet, but at least he'll know about it. So you can find out about this movie that's coming out on October 3rd. And of course, it's not going to be advertised on TV because they don't want you to know how popular a third choice this guy is. It isn't like the Ross Perot thing. This is much bigger. It isn't like Anderson or Nader from the past. This is much bigger. And there's money behind this guy, too, but it's mostly small donors like me. All right? So give this guy a look. Gar Governor Gary Johnson, and then this is Bill Weld. All right? And see what you think. But I'm just letting you know that it's not easy to find their material because, you know, the cable networks and everybody else won't give them enough airtime. And if you're in Facebook, you can look them up under the same names. I just can't go there because I'm not a member. All right? So that's basically it. There's my, you know, profile page on my own. And then here's the libertarian list, see? Brain Audi list, libertarian. So at least you know where to go to do your own research and talk to God about it. Use one John one nine and make your decision as you best see fit. Peace out.